So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can bake the texture in substance painter so i have already made one headphone model using the blender and i have also unwrapped this uh, whole models and make some good uvs for this headphones and i have already export the epics also so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to my substance painter and here i'm just going to import that models i will just go to my files new from here i will just select that model basically so all right guys here you can see i have already exported the fbx of that headphone i'm just gonna select this headphone and i will just click open so after that i will just do some settings from here basically i'll just set the document resolution as a 2k and i'll just do okay so all that guys here you can see now we have a headphones into the substance painter so what happen exactly guys whenever you are importing any object from the other software into the substance painter so you have to bake the mesh first of all because if you will not bake the mesh so you will not able to do texture properly basically so for baking the textures for baking the mesh basically what you need to do you have to just go to your texture set list here basically and here you will see lots of options and i will explain all of them from here basically so first of all i'll just click this bake mesh maps and here you can see we have a new window open and here we will set all the settings and from here we can bake the mesh basically so first of all you need to set the output size basically which is super important if you will not define the output quality so what will happen right now here you can see by default it's set on a 1k if you will add the any kind of texture into your headphones that texture resolution will be always 1k and if you will also export this texture from this substance to other software as well so that texture quality also will be on 1k basically so first of all i will just change the output size i'll just click it and i will just set as a 4k so here you can see guys we have a lots of list of maps here basically you can just export each of them according to your requirements but right now i'm just gonna show you how you can bake the all mesh maps basically so we'll just select all of them like a by default basically and apart from that you don't need to change anything from here till then you don't need to bake anything else basically so all right guys here you can see now we have a three options here basically so first one is the cancel which is self and predefined what is does exactly i hope you know that second option is like bake all texture sets and third one is bake body mesh map so now i will just tell the difference between the bake all texture set and bake body mesh map basically so what happen exactly if you have a make groups and collections of your mesh while doing the modeling basically or while doing the unwrapping so here you can see uh, all of the layers are exported here as well so now right now you can see i have just selected only body one layer so that's why it's showing here so if you will just select the only bake body mesh map so it will only bake the that selected one basically but if you will select this bake all texture sets so it will bake all the mesh map basically so i will just select this bake all texture sets now here you can see the process is start So all that guys here you can see all the baked mesh map is here basically and if you wanted to see each one of them individually so you can just go to here and here you can just select each one of them and you will be able to see each one of them individually basically so all that guys that's how you can bake the all the bake mesh map basically and that's really easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and now you are able to add the any kind of texture into your mesh and it will react and it will flow very nicely and you can do any kind of corrections editing whatever you want to do with your mesh now we have a base texture into our object basically and let me show you adding the one uh, texture into our uh, basically headphone so for example i'm just going to add this one so i'm just going to select this plastic one and i will just add it here yeah so all that guys here you can see that's look great and you can see how cool it is looking by the way and you can just add the glossiness shine anything else into your model basically so all that guys that's it for this tutorial and i hope you learn something new today so thanks for watching the video guys if you learn something new today so please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys